During the multinational exercise Formidable Shield 2025, held from May 6 to 9 in the Arctic Circle, the U.S. Army's 5th Battalion, 4th Air Defense Artillery Regiment, 5 to 4 Adair, successfully carried out the first live fire test of its new short range air defense system, SGT Stout. Previously designated as M Shorad, this upgraded defense platform signals a pivotal step in bolstering NATO's integrated response capabilities amid evolving aerial threats, especially those underscored by recent conflicts like the war in Ukraine. Mounted atop a striker armored vehicle, the SGT Stout system merges radar, a 30mm autocannon, and Stinger missiles with infrared guidance, creating an autonomous unit capable of tracking and neutralizing aerial targets without external sensor support. The Arctic deployment challenged both the troops and the equipment, especially during nighttime missions, where SGT Stout engaged simulated enemy aircraft under low visibility conditions. A defining moment during the drill occurred when one crew faced a sensor failure. Without hesitation, soldiers transitioned to a contingency plan, dismounting and launching a shoulder-fired stinger to intercept the target. This rapid pivot underscored the tactical synergy between mounted systems and foot soldiers, as well as the unit's discipline under pressure. Conceived in 2018 in response to growing concerns over short-range drone and missile attacks, SGT Stout was designed to safeguard mobile units on the battlefield. The platform delivers a flexible shield against a wide array of threats, ranging from low-flying helicopters and fast-moving cruise missiles to artillery rockets and surveillance drones. The system's interoperability with broader command networks enhances its responsiveness and adaptability in complex, combined force environments. The U.S. Army currently fields SGT Stout within three battalions located in Germany, Oklahoma, Fort Sill, and Texas, Fort Cavazos. Notably, the platform was previously deployed during Sabre Strike in Poland as part of Defender 24, where a small fleet of these systems protected U.S. and Allied troops from simulated aerial assaults. With further enhancements under development, future iterations aim to counter emerging tactics and expanding threat profiles. In June 2024, the system was officially renamed to honor Sergeant Mitchell W. Stout, the only air defense artillery soldier to be awarded the Medal of Honor. Sergeant Stout was killed in Vietnam in 1970 after shielding his fellow soldiers from a grenade. The naming of the system reflects a commitment to protect forces in the same spirit of sacrifice and bravery. Formidable Shield 2025 marked a turning point in the evolution of the exercise itself. Originally a testbed for naval missile defense, the drills have since expanded to integrate land and air-based elements for a full-spectrum defense strategy. This year's edition featured forces from 11 NATO countries, including 16 naval vessels, 27 aircraft, and 8 ground units. 5 to 4 ADR played a crucial role by covering the final defense tier on Norway's Andoya Island, intercepting any aerial threats that penetrated the outer naval shield. SGT Stout was linked to NATO's real-time tactical data sharing network, allowing for seamless coordination between ground-based units and naval forces. According to Major Ben Bowman, 5 to 4 Adar's operations officer, shared sensor feed significantly extended the detection envelope, compensating for the SGT Stout's limited onboard radar range. Complementing the U.S. forces, Norway deployed its NASAMs and a new mobile air defense platform, while the U.S. Marine Corps provided shoulder-launched Stinger teams and managed a tactical air operations center for coordinating fire and managing airspace. This cooperative setup added layers of complexity, reflecting the multifaceted nature of modern conflict scenarios. Royal Norwegian Navy Captain Fridjof Joyce highlighted how rotating enemy profiles and diverse threat simulations forced units to remain flexible and adaptive. Such dynamic conditions pushed the exercise's realism, offering valuable stress tests for command structures and equipment interoperability. For soldiers of 5 to 4 ADR, Formidable Shield was a vital leap from simulated to live operations. Specialist Isaiah Hernandez emphasized that no virtual training could replicate the intensity of field combat scenarios. Colonel Haley Bayrou, who leads the 52nd Air Defense Artillery Brigade overseeing SGT Stout integration in Europe, called the exercise an unmatched proving ground for NATO's joint air defense strategies. Now returning to their base in Ansbach, Germany, 
the battalion carries forward critical experience that affirms SGT Stout's battlefield readiness. The exercise proved not just the system's performance under operational conditions, but also the Army's growing ability to plug seamlessly into NATO's evolving air and missile defense matrix. As threats continue to shift and multiply, the SGT Stout stands ready as a frontline tool in safeguarding Allied troops and preserving airspace dominance.